Mr. Beast, also known as Jimmy Donaldson, was a typical kid who wanted nothing more than to become a successful YouTuber, long before he started generating money with Squid Game pranks, becoming one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform. But does all of this success, fame and money have its dark side? Is Mr. Beast really who we think he is? The truth is, if I told you now, you might not believe me. So let's dive in to discover the hidden truth of Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is by far the most quintessential influencer in many respects. He started uploading videos to YouTube when he was barely a teenager, and he is still working his way up to a million subscribers years later. Then, thanks to a viral video and his own unwavering persistence, he was able to get his videos in front of tens of millions of people. Mr. Beast now has a mind-boggling number of YouTube subscribers. When he uploads a video, over 84 million people are informed, and videos with over 100 million views are common on his channel. Mr. Beast joined with the management company Night Media in 2019 because of his massive fan base. It wasn't always like this. Mr. Beast began his career in the same way that many other well-known YouTubers have. He made his debut video when he was 13 years old in 2012. Mr. Beast 6000 was his username back then, and his content was largely centered on the game Minecraft, as one might expect from a boy his age via Newsweek. Mr. Beast has become one of the most well-known YouTubers on the network after almost a decade of changing his videos and tricking the algorithm. Even his oldest video has nearly 10 million views, which is impressive for a youngster showing off one of the worst Minecraft traps ever created. According to Mr. Beast, he enrolled in college after graduating from high school, but only stayed for two weeks. I'd rather be impoverished than do anything other than YouTube he informed his mother after dropping out of school. His mother didn't seem overjoyed with the news. Mr. Beast said on Twitter that she made him move out because she loves me and simply wanted me to be successful. Given that, Mr. Beast had less than a million subscribers when he wanted to quit school. It's easy to see why his mother didn't think YouTube was a feasible professional option. Things change quickly on YouTube, Mr. Beast cautioned. He broke a million followers a year after dropping out and he's on his way to being the most subscribed YouTuber. He's made enough money as a result of his content creation that he was able to gift his mother $100,000. For a college dropout, this is quite impressive. Mr. Beast identified his next hot niche not long after understanding that people enjoyed watching strange stunts. He started coming up with new ways to give money out. Sometimes it was little amounts of cash to random Twitch users and other times it was 10,000 bucks to homeless individuals in his hometown via The Verge. He even offered a waitress enough money to force her to leave her job. Mr. Beast's donations were mostly funded by brand deals, but by 2018 he'd given away over a million dollars and earned the label of YouTube's biggest philanthropist. Mr. Beast's gift videos did good in the world, while also dramatically increasing his YouTube audience. Mr. Beast's station drew more viewers, the more money he gave away. With a massive growth came the sudden backlash. And the most well-known philanthropist on YouTube has not been without controversy. Turns out that the YouTube wasn't without controversy, especially on Twitter. While some of you might think that this isn't such a big deal, a lot of Mr. Beast's die-hard fans were upset when they discovered some nasty sentiments made by the influencer, just as his following was expanding tremendously. Most of Mr. Beast's derogatory remarks contained gay slurs or made homosexuality a humor. In his comments, he constantly used LGBT slurs, and his Twitter bio in 2018 read, Just because I am gay doesn't mean I am gay. Mr. Beast wore a shirt that read, I am not gay, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks, according to The Atlantic, in a video titled, Giving 10,000 bucks to comments on this video. When Mr. Beast was asked to respond to his remarks, he appeared to slide-step the question. I'm not offending anybody in the least, he stated, adding, I'm just going to ignore it. This isn't anything that anyone seems to care about. Mr. Beast later removed all of his homophobic comments and made the video they condemned private on YouTube, despite what he told The Atlantic. I want to make the world a better place before I die, 
his Twitter bio now reads. As a result, Mr. Beast appears to have seen how he may have offended others and has taken genuine steps to modify his online speech. Mr. Beast has grown up and matured into someone who doesn't speak like that, according to a representative for Mr. Beast in 2021, citing the fact that he was a teenager when the objectionable content was uploaded, and while at least this incident didn't cause as much backlash as one might think. It somehow showed that Mr. Beast isn't somebody who could handle backlash very well, because after this one, he will end up receiving a lot of negativity. Mr. Beast tried his hardest to dodge the outrage sparked by the Atlantic's 2018 article, but a year later he himself smacked up in the middle of a different kind of controversy. In 2019, when Mr. Beast had 24 million subscribers, Dick Zetu broke down a simmering rivalry between him and fellow YouTuber Moggs. The feud began when Mr. Beast's friend Chandler Hello sent a tweet that displayed some startling parallels between Mr. Beast and Moggs' videos. Morgs seems to be posting challenges that had previously been completed by Mr. Beast on a regular basis. The feud erupted after Mr. Beast remarked on Twitter that my brother isn't a legitimate YouTuber till Morgs duplicates one of his videos. Morgs retaliated with a snapshot of videos he claimed Mr. Beast had plagiarized from his YouTube channel. I've been trying to be kind and not hop on the f Morgs train. I really don't care for drama, Mr. Beast responded back refuting Morg's claims. The dispute has basically died out since then. Morg's brought up the subject again in a video uploaded on May 23, 2021, but this time his claims were unanswered by Mr. Beast, who is undoubtedly too preoccupied with maintaining his ever-expanding channel. Despite the fact that Mr. Beast uploads a lot of stuff on YouTube, there are still a lot of videos that he and his team work on and that never get released. Mr. Beast was asked on a Twitch stream if he had any regrettable films. He expressed regret for the time he spent working on a video about using plungers to scale a building. We spent hours analyzing the greatest plungers with suction, how to feed the most on you, and sure, it didn't end up working out, Mr. Beast and his colleagues said. Mr. Beast also taped full videos that were never uploaded on YouTube. Mr. Beast addressed some of his bad videos in a video posted on April 30, 2020. He and his gang smashed a car traveling 100 miles per hour into a wall, but later discovered that the footage would never be released due to a hazy camera shot. Mr. Beast once paid for his buddies to visit the seven wonders of the world. The travels totaled roughly 90,000 bucks. However, the movie had to be destroyed after Mr. Beast misplaced his camera during his visit to the Roman Colosseum. Mr. Beast's extraordinary attention to quality material is probably more evident in the films that did not become viral sensations than in the ones that did. Wasting in the process his money and his friend's time, however, the team said they did enjoy the experience at least. In May 2021, the New York Times published an article about Mr. Beast that sparked a new debate about his treatment of his staff. Mr. Beast has hired roughly 50 people to handle his burgeoning channel and he's moved his multiple businesses into a warehouse to give everyone enough space to work. While many people are flocking to the companies in search of job, not everyone is enjoying their time on the team. Matt Turner, who worked for Mr. Beast for almost a year, said he was often chastised by his boss. Aside from the verbal abuse, nothing I did was to be credited to me. I'd request credit and he'd give it to someone else. Another Mr. Beast employee, Nate Anderson, posted a video titled My Experience Editing for Mr. Beast – Worst Week of My Life on YouTube. Anderson withdrew the video after receiving so many angry comments and death threats from Mr. Beast's supporters. It's worth mentioning that not every Mr. Beast employee told the New York Times that working with him was a bad experience. Everyone hired there was a friend of a friend, writer Josh Hyman recalled, adding that the crew felt like family. Mr. Beast has yet to make a public statement about any of the Times' moral alarming stories. Behind Mr. Beast's friendly videos, there seems to be a wall of untold truths, discrimination, lies, and hidden secrets, as well as dangerous fan base that won't hesitate to bring harm to anybody who dares insult their YouTube star. We hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to receive all of our latest stories. See you soon with a brand new video.